everybody welcome back to another awesome day another awesome vlog we are here at my parents house we're gonna head out we're going to the rains house which is right around the corner to check that out let's go we've made it to the rains house in rancho cucamonga this property was originally owned by the native americans and in 1858 it was sold to a man named john rains as you can see in 1860 it became a National Register of Historic Places. John Rains and his family lived here for several years, but when he was 30 years old, he actually got on a covered wagon to head toward the LA area to pick up some things for his family, and he was murdered near San Dimas. Uh, they never figured out who murdered him, um, but it was a sad story. His young wife and children continued to live here on the property for a while thereafter. This property had vineyards and it was one of the areas where a lot of the wine was made and Rancho Cucamonga actually became quite well known for their wine and brandy being made right here in this area. This house was built out of bricks in 1860 by Ohio Brick Masons. John Raines originally planted 160 acres of vines for making wine. John Raines and Maria Merced. John Raines was from Alabama, came west as a young man, um, and stopped in Texas, was a Texas ranger, and then he took a job at the interior to bring horses and cattle out here to the west. And when he got to Los Angeles, he liked it, so he stayed. He became friends with Isaac Williams, who was actually from Pennsylvania, and he had married Don Lugo's daughter and uh, was given 26,000 acres in Chino as a wedding wow. gift. So wow. instead of being the captain of the ship, he became a rancher. And uh, so she chose John Raines, and they were married right away, but he did not want to live in Chino. Chino Ranch did not have a lot of water, mm -hmm. and it was hard to manage that many cattle without water. Mm -hmm. And so he um, decided he wanted to um, buy this ranch. He'd been coming through here with herds of cattle. The furniture oh, is gorgeous. And we got some nice donations. Uh, the furniture here that all matches belong to the Stone Mortuary. I'm not sure if you oh, found yes. here, but they're still here. And it was great, great grandma's. It was in the warehouse and it had black horse hair, which was appropriate, but our ladies didn't think it was very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> An oil chandelier, you'd have to have a ladder to fill that with the oil and then light it every night. Wow. Um, and that's how they did it in those days. And um, the piano is a box piano, and it was the choice of the 1800s for Western pianos because on the ship, it could take the abuse of the waves banging them back and forth and not fall apart. The problem with the box piano is it has 55 keys instead of 88, so your pianist would have to adjust. But she did have eight children, and she wanted them educated. She was an educated lady, so this room became a uh, a school for anybody in this area to come to. She didn't care who you were or where you came from. If you wanted to be educated, you were welcome in her school for her children. And she paid for Miss Lizzie to uh, teach school here for many years. And that the county did not put back to 1860. This floor was put in in 1922, and it is Peruvian mahogany and before there were pine floors, and that was normal for 1800s houses. Uh, but by 1820, or ni uh, 1922, they were pretty worn out and probably had ridges where everybody walked because it was soft pine. We do have a treadle sewing machine to see how they sewed their clothing and a full-length mirror, which is kind of short. <laughs> and this is- Go stand in front of that, honey. A morning dress. So you can see how tiny people were back then, and if somebody dies, you had to wear black for That would have fit me perfectly. Yeah, you <laughs> would have fit right in. I would have. Yeah. Look. And the wedding this dress over my there dress. is very tiny, too. So. <gasps> mm -hmm. This quiche, there were three of these in the house, and they were um, uh, 
she was very religious, uh, Catholic, and so there was one in the front parlor, one here, and one in the room we just left. They were 100 years old. Solid wood. And hand carved and hand painted. She's That's beautiful. Isn't she? she looks like she was made for the space. Remember, that wasn't a bedroom, it was a family room. Right. And so this is John Raines and Maria. This is Judge Hayes, who held Maria for 12 years in the court system. He took the court case all the way to the Supreme Court, and they were told they won, and when they got there, they were told they lost. Oh. Because the Transcontinental Railroad had connected, and by then, um, the bankers knew about the winery and the money coming in, and the water, and all the property. This land runs from A Street to Hermosa, over to San Antonio. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All of it had water. So uh, it was quite a healthy. That's a huge piece of land. You know, when you say how big it is, you, there's yeah. no comprehension yeah. until you yeah, say that. Until you see how big it is. Yeah. Now. So um, it was wow. quite, quite a, it was practically all of Cucamonga. <laughs> it's only four feet deep now. We don't usually have water in it when the rain came. Um, because the Zika virus and the mosquitoes, oh, yes. they don't want things standing around. Uh, at least the kids can still see how the trucks would be. Oh, they yeah, to under, make the water go Yeah, so they would have been underground, yes. but um, so they can visualize it. Right, the next right. Time. And they did go under all the rooms and cool the rooms. The bell uh, used to be on top of the house. The Stevens family, when they moved out to the open, when the parents passed, the Indians that were children of the um, mission Indians, so they were, uh, they spoke English and Christian and they were uh, here on the ranch and they did most of the work. A uh, wedding gift to the lady that had the wedding dress up front. Oh, yeah. A coffee pot so that everybody that came through could get fresh coffee. A rug beer, waffle iron, tea kettle, toaster, and irons. So everything was pretty primitive when it came. A bathtub for the little children. There was an adult bathhouse east of the house that had bathtubs in it for, for adults. And it's dressed up a little more than it should be. Probably should look like that. This is for the priest or the monk? Yeah, the yeah. monk, yes. And here is the first priest that stayed here. And this is the second. And I understand that this one even came later on. You know, it wasn't unusual to have a priest stay here and visit people. That and that's the church on Olivera Street that Maria was uh, baptized and married twice and had her funeral. And her daughter made sure at her funeral that there were violets on the ends of all the pews because that was her favorite plant mm -hmm. from the... Our tour guide was telling us that this original property that John Raines um, bought stretched from the foothills in Rancho Cucamonga down to A Street, which in, is in Upland at the train tracks down there and from San Antonio, which is in Upland, to Hermosa, which is in Rancho Cucamonga, which is a huge amount of land that he had that he used. It's amazing the information we learned. We're gonna end our video here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something about this piece of property. Our tour guide, Jeannie, was so knowledgeable. She had so much information to share. And we learned that there was also a lot of tragedy that surrounded this property. Um, and a lot of tragedy with all of the families that came in and owned the property and moved away at some point as well. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!